bale that wheat hay on. And then we are going to And to those of you that are farmers, it probably seems a little odd that in the middle of July we are out doing plowing work. It's usually a spring or a fall thing. And it is, but we're doing some experimentation. We had a neighbor try this wheat and he's had really good results as far as volume goes. And then uh, we pretty much make up for a missed crop on the year. Typically in the springtime when we'd be replanting alfalfa, we'd be doing all this work in April, May, maybe into early June. You don't want to plant alfalfa too early. The seed is very expensive and you don't want to lose all those little plants to a frost. We get frost very late around here. As you can see there's mountains all around. And we're at an elevation of 7,500 feet, so we have a pretty short growing season. But uh, the other benefit we're going to get out of this with that big long stack of hay out over there that we got is we'll miss out on the springtime winds. And we will get a lot less soil erosion when we're doing the dirt work, prepping it. Because that can be a problem around here. Because if you can see them over there, they're about 60 miles away, but the Great Sand Dunes National Park is over there on the other side of the valley. And the sand dunes got there from wind blowing lots and lots and lots of sand. And as farmers, we don't want to be losing this topsoil to soil erosion, because that's what makes the crops grow. And so hopefully, yeah, we won't miss out on the wind. Here in a minute, I'm gonna get out. I'll show you guys what this thing looks like from outside. These shanks are about three feet long, and we're ripping about 20 inches into the ground. It's about the depth of the topsoil around here. Sometimes it'll get up to two feet. Out here in the west, uh, we have thin topsoil. Uh, this is a heavy clay, and it's really good for growing crops. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna jump out and I'll give you guys a look at what this thing looks like outside. Okay, here's a look outside. See what's going on here. These shanks are what's going into the ground. These things are about three feet long. What we do is we set them down, like I said, about 20 inches in the ground. And these points right here help break up that compaction. Monster boy, come here. Come on. Good boy. And yeah, they loosen up the soil, so then it's a lot easier for plowing. And uh, they get a lot deeper than the plow to, to break up what we call a hard pan, which develops underneath the soil. These clays compact after a while, after driving over them for a long time. And so they need to be loosened up to get the uh, most that you can out of it. But uh, yeah, there you go. This bad boy's about 20 feet wide or so, so and yeah, it's hard pulling, but breaks up the soil, helps everything grow better. So there isn't really anywhere to mount the camera outside that I feel comfortable with, so uh, I'm going to open up the back window here and hold out my selfie stick and uh, give you guys a closer look.
piled up at that time. You get wind erosion. And that's what makes the sand dunes. Once again, the sand dunes are over there. They're really hard to see, but they are about 60 miles away from here. So they're that little, the light brown strip at the base of the mountains. So one thing we're trying to do is avoid having the soil uncovered at that time of year. And by planting this wheat, we're getting an extra crop that we didn't get used to get either, because this is a winter wheat, and we plant it in the fall, grows a little bit, hangs out all winter, and then starts growing again in the springtime. And we get huge volumes out of it. We're not quite sure how much we got yet. We gotta wait for the first semi to leave to know how much the bales are weighing. But uh, yeah, and all those horrendous winds that we get come off of the mountains that are right in front of me. As the warm air hits the snow that's still up there, the air cools back down and comes screaming down through all of those canyons and stuff out there. And gets out here, picks up all the loose dirt, sends it over to the sand dunes over there. So yeah, as farmers, one thing we have to do to maintain long-term use of the land is limit or eliminate soil erosion. soil to the wind. Because we all remember the stories about the dust bowl and how much dirt got removed out of the southern plains when they went into a drought in the 20s. If you don't know, research it and uh, you will learn quite a bit. But anyway, if anybody's ever got any questions, I'm more than happy to answer them. I got friends who are always wondering what's going on on the farm. So uh, please uh, comment, rate, and subscribe.